All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. Um, All right, no physical product to show you. Some people will be, like, really happy about that. I am going to tell you about the best foreigner tribute band there is. Uh, They're called Hot Blooded. You can check out their website, hotbloodedtribute.com. Two of my favorite guys are in this band, Troy Sands, Dr. Troy Sands playing keyboards, and the incredible Michael Scott Nelson on drums. He's the guy who sent me the t-shirt. He's a good guy. I've known him for quite some time now. And uh, this, uh, hey, this might be your answer to guys that are maybe on the scene a little bit too long or high ticket prices or any of that stuff. Um Check out Hot Blooded. Uh, You won't be disappointed if you're a Foreigner fan. Uh, The vocals are right there. The vocals remind me of Lou Graham a little bit in his prime. Uh, Speaking of Lou Graham, that's the topic of this excellent video. Uh, Lou Graham announces All Stars 2023 tour. Lou Graham is back. Now, a couple of years ago, Lou said, hey, I'm pretty much done with the road. And now he's back. Um, Here's my commentary on that. (laughs) This touring stuff is really lucrative, okay? You could sell merchandise. You could sell all the tickets, obviously. And then there's beer, of course. Um, These days, you don't have a lot of brands to choose from anymore because you can't buy Bud Light. You can't buy Miller Light or Coors Light now. So um, you probably have to switch to a micro brew. And typically these nice venues, they have those. Um, and they don't need a goofy advertising budget. They'll sell it based on the quality of the hops and the flavor, which is not why you would buy Coors Light or Miller Light or Bud Light. Now, anyway, um, so touring is very lucrative. Uh, And fans now have a chance to see Lou Graham on stage. The Rocker just announced dates with the All-Stars. The Lou Graham All-Stars featuring Scott Gilman, Jeff Jacobs, who both performed with Foreigner in the past. So that's kind of interesting. Along with Tony Franklin. Yeah, the legendary Tony Franklin, Alex Garcia, and Ben Graham. Ben Graham, I believe, is Lou Graham's brother, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've uh, got the same last name. I'm pretty sure Ben used to tour with Lou a couple of years back and has been for quite some time. Um, I guess the breaking news here is that Lou did say at one point that he was done doing this. Um, it's not a rigorous tour by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a tour. And uh, it's interesting. Uh, the press release uh, or the article here says that Graham was lead singer of Foreigner from 1970. Uh, I don't think that first date is right. To 1990. I think it was, what, like 75 to 1990? Of course, I may be wrong. And again, from 1992 to 2003, he last performed with the members of his former band back in November of 2018. Now, again, everybody is upset that foreigner has zero original members if mick jones doesn't make his cameo and i've got reports that he comes out for a song or two or he doesn't come out at all Uh, lou graham said at one point that he wasn't doing well meaning he was suffering from something and jeff pilson came along and said no he's doing great so (laughs) who who do you believe right Uh, look it's a pr battle It's pretty sad that there has to be a public relations battle uh, when it comes to an aging rock band, Uh, but it does maybe affect ticket sales. I was told uh, not to make fun of certain bands that have zero original members because it's going to hurt, you know, uh, their ticket sales. I don't know. You know, I'm not getting a lot of views on these videos anymore unless uh, everyone's lying and I am getting a lot of views, but I'm not getting paid for the views I'm getting which is an interesting concept, right? Could be actually happening. But it's true, if you're dumping on the current lineup of Foreigner, you're gonna probably hurt somebody's bottom line. Uh, Some grunt worker, the people who set up the equipment, the people who sell the t-shirts, the people who uh, are 
selling the $14 beer, hopefully uh, not Bud Light, Coors Light, or Miller Light. <laughs> it's just, you're going to run out of brands eventually, and then you're going to have to like bring your own. I brought my own beer. Just go on the parking lot like the old days, like we used to, right? That's the way to do it. Don't Don't buy stadium beer. I mean, you can get like a case of beer for the cost of what, two bottles inside. So <laughs> get yourself uh, all you know, ready for the show prior to the show starting. That's my advice. Um, so again, the, the breaking news here, if there is breaking news, is that Lou Graham said, nah, I'm not going to do this anymore. And now he's doing a tour. So it's not a big tour. And it may actually not add up to more dates than he's been doing previously. And it may be just a, a more formal way of presenting Lou Graham and his all-star band which is an interesting name for it because you're thinking, is this like Ringo Starr? Um, Lou Graham All-Stars 2023 Tour. It's interesting. Um, is a little clickbait, bait and switch. Who are the All-Stars? Well, you got one guy who's a legend, Tony Franklin, and then you've got uh, Scott Gilman and Jeff Jacobs who have worked with Foreigner. You've got Alex Garcia, and then you've got uh, Ben Graham. So I don't know if that constitutes an all-star band, but it certainly will generate interest and could be the last time you see Lou Graham out there. But based on what he said a couple of years ago, it probably isn't. So in any event, it's your choice. You want to see Lou Graham or do you want to see Kelly Hansen? Uh, you want to see almost fake foreigner or do you want to see the original lead singer of the band out there? Uh, with a band that uh, apparently is pretty decent. Or you can go see Hot Blooded. That would be the solution. You'll save a lot of money. These guys are up in Northeast Ohio, so you might want to check them out if you have an opportunity. Dave, are you saying they should go see a tribute band? <laughs> well, people are calling Foreigner a tribute band. And look, folks, I love Lou Graham, but this is not the Lou Graham of uh, 1984. Okay, and I don't expect them to be. Um, there are a number of singers who sound completely different from what they used to sound like. Uh, did this video about John Mellencamp yesterday. That was scary. I mean, that was a scary vocal. I listened to it and I was like, wow. <laughs> what happened to John Mellencamp? Uh, aging, mortality, smoking cigarettes, drinking too much. I don't know, but all of those things are probably uh, contributing factors to the change in vocal quality of the uh, formerly known uh, Johnny Cougar. So um, I want to thank people for following me over to Truth Social. Um, it's an experiment. I will be posting these videos over on Truth Social. Um, the bottom line, though, is I need you to watch the videos, okay? Doesn't mean I'm going to be campaigning for Donald Trump or anything like that, but um, I reached a conclusion that, yeah, um, I liked the way the country was in 2019. I really did. Um, I didn't have too many problems and the people I knew were doing well. A lot of those people now are not doing well. I know we had that little thing demic that came along, but you know what, po uh, folks, we should be able to recover. We should at some point you know, turn a corner and, and start prospering again as a nation and uh, getting back to some sort of uh, normal uh, living circumstances, if you know what I mean. But uh, we'll see what happens. You know, there's an election next year. Yay, we'll see who votes and uh, <laughs> if those votes are tabulated properly. But yes, thank you for going over to Truth Social. Uh, Patreon, though, is really where I need the support. The financial support, I'm not making money by going over to Truth Social. I'm hoping that people will share the videos, uh, retruth the videos, as they like to say over there, and um, continue to just, you know, support me uh, in that way. That's helpful. But in the long run, it's all about uh, getting some views here and breaking the algorithm. Uh, it's really difficult. It's just, it, I just still am flabbergasted. Um, with all the content that I have floating around out in cyberspace that uh, I am down to um, one half of the income I had about four or five months ago. 
All right, people. Um, again, thank you so much for um, supporting and watching, and uh, I'll be back soon.